Well, earlier tonight, 23 ABC told you about yet another school threat, this time at Oliver Middle School. Tonight, parents say they feel safer because of how that school district has responded. And 23 ABC's Andrew Worth joins us now from our newsroom to explain. Andrew? This morning around 8 a.m., Greenfield Union School District officials were made aware of yet another school threat written on the bathroom wall. But it's what the school and district did following the threat that has parents feeling safer tonight. It's always better to get out in front of a story than to have rumors. And that's exactly what the Greenfield District and Olivier Middle School did this morning after discovering the handwritten threat. I got a phone call in my cell phone, which I was at work at the moment, so I didn't get to see it right away. But then, sure enough, I got to my um, break and I got to see the phone call and I heard it. And yeah, they let me know what was going on. The BPD later deemed the threat to be not credible, but Chichester said the steps that were taken are something that is part of a larger plan. I think our schools have done that regularly. And our school resource officer does uh, talk to students about that. If you see something on campus, if you hear something, tell someone. And um, so it's something that that's not new. That's something we've continued to do. Something parents have noticed, saying they feel better knowing the school has a plan already in order. I'm very happy that they're on top of it. I'm not sure about other districts, how they handle situations. I know ours are on top of it, and we haven't had any incidences. So they're doing their job, and our kids are being... Said that while these situations happen, the district and schools will always do what is needed to keep everyone informed. School lockdowns, um, threats by phone, um, verbal threats, written threats. Unfortunately, that's something we have to deal with now. We need to assure our students that our schools are safe and we're doing everything we can to keep them safe. And thus, we're taking things very seriously. Chichester said that BPD did question several students about the incident before making the arrest of one student his, who is now being charged with vandalism and causing a false emergency to be re reported. Live in the newsroom, Andrew Worth, 23 ABC.